Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Talking Lid Podcast Recording Live, episode 259. Yeah, Leadheads, we are back, and we got a special guest announcer, that's Michael Buffer, if you couldn't couldn't distinguish who that was, no, that's our good buddy Jeremy Smith with Defy Watches, welcome in Jeremy. Thank you, sir. So, you you guys know what that means, when Jeremy's on the show, there's usually a big announcement, chaos, there's crazy. chaos, craziness, there's big announcements, there's there's money coming out of your wallets because you can't afford not to buy these deals that he's going to be throwing out at you guys. Uh, but before you do that, if you haven't listened to our previous episode, it was our part two of the Talking Lead AK Corner presented by Pioneer Arms. We had our good buddy Vincent Buckles on, and Vincent was talking about all the parts that go into making up the AK-47, and we talked about cast versus forged, stamped versus milled receivers, all kinds of great information there. And if you haven't checked that out yet, we gave away two AK rifles as well, two AK help ups. We got 10 more of those that we're going to be giving away throughout our 12-part AK Corner Series. So we got 10 more episodes coming up for you guys. Keep engaging with us. Keep participating on social media. Keep sending us your questions, things you want us to talk about on the show, people you want us to have on the show. And, oh, by the way, we heard you, you guys. I mean, you were yelling, screaming for Jim Fuller. That's going to happen. We're getting Jim Fuller on the show, Redheads. So that'll be in an upcoming episode of the AK Corner. And if you didn't check the episode before that, episode 257, that is another great episode. We had Mindy Robinson. Mindy is an actress, a patriotic blogger. She hosts the uh, Red, White, and FU show. Uh, just a ball of energy. A great patriotic 2A amendment constitutionalist. Great American. American. Great American. American. There you go. And uh, we talked about her upcoming movie, Roe v. Wade. And uh, it's going to be a good movie. It's a little out of the ordinary for her, but make sure you guys go. Show Mindy some love. Thank her for being on the show and uh, sharing all the uh, great stories that he, that she had for us. Do you know who Mindy Robinson is, Jeremy? Uh, vaguely. Just I say, do. yeah, uh, yeah. She's the chick that was right. in range 15. She was in Checkpoint. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, we've uh, conversed back and forth as far as working with their charity. Oh, okay. Yeah, with Randy's charity? Yeah. Yes, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's a, a great organization that they've got there. So, Leadheads, I'm getting ready to head to Poland, uh, and this will be continuing our AK Corner um, knowledge and series. So I'm going to be there, and hopefully we're going to be recording a, a couple episodes. But this this will be our last episode until I get back from Poland. So next week, there won't be a show for you guys, sorry, but this is going to be a great one. We've got Spike's Tactical lined up for you guys. We've got uh, Kit Cope, who is the uh, MMA fighter. Are you familiar with Kit Cope? Oh, yeah. Jeremy, yeah. So oh, we yeah. Got, got Kit Cope on. Uh, we've got the guys from Inland Manufacturing. We've got David on. They've got a ask, new... Ask Kit how he likes getting bit. How he likes getting bit? Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask him that next time I see him. Yeah, he'll he'll explain the whole thing to you. Okay, all right. Yeah, he's probably been bit a few times in the ring. I'm sure. Uh, no, by my dog. Oh, <laughs> he got a little canine bite. I got gotcha. you. A lot of canine bite. I don't know who who came out on the uh, the the winning end of that fight. He, he had the sleeve on, so he did okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So great interviews coming up, guys. Um, but before we get into that, we want to thank all the sponsors of Talking Lead. You guys have been great going and showing them support and love. Please continue to do that. The official optics of Talking Lead, right on optics. Uh, another bit of information we'll throw out there, our trip to Utah. And, you know, We were talking about going out there for Charlie Melton. He's got the world's longest rifle shot attempt coming up at 7,000 yards. That was supposed to happen, the f I know, the first week of September. We pushed that back to the uh, last part of September. So just want to give you guys a heads up on that. I know a lot of you were uh, anxiously awaiting um, that. So just an update on that. We're going to be doing that at the end of September, but it's going to be an awesome event. Everything's still scheduled. He's still going to go out and just shatter that record. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be great. And Ride On Optics is going to be a part of that. 
Uh, they've got a special scope that they're coming out with um, for that shoot that, you know, hopefully uh, soon after will be available to you guys, to you lead heads as well. It's going to be a, a, a high-powered scope. Very cool. Their 1 to 8 just came out. They've got a 1 to 8, Jeremy, that uh, they've got a hunting version and they've got a tactical version. They've got a first focal plane tactical version and they've got a sec- second focal plane hunting version. So two different reticles in that. And it I'll is take out. The tactical. You t- yeah, the tactical. <laughs> it's cool. I posted a picture of it on uh, Instagram and the reticle. I think you would really dig the reticle. Um, it's, it's very tactically minded design. I think Charlie actually had a. Uh, a hand in de- designing that reticle that they're going to be using for that. So it's got like a um, uh, half moon nice. top, and then it's got your um, tick marks down below that, mm-hmm. and then you got your your side windage marks to the side. Perfect. I don't know all the technical terms on that. That's why we have our uh, Ride on Optics, um, Optics Class 101, so they can teach us all that. And that's going to be the next... Um, segment we get into we're going to talk about the reticles and the different meanings of all the ticks and marks and and all that stuff that, those are things i need to know because i was only a close quarters guy okay so you just put the dot <laughs> on it and shoot that's it it's <laughs> like you cover it you shoot it right exactly got it uh but yeah this this um if you see the if you go to the instagram uh, talking about his instagram page and you see that um scope look at the reticle you'll get it jeremy you're like oh yeah that's that's perfect nice. tactical you put you just put the tips of the half circle on the shoulders, <laughs> touch the shoulders, and then <laughs> That's it. pull the trigger, right? Pull it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the most rifle stuff I did when I was uh, younger, I was in the rifle club and did competitive open sight rifle shooting. Okay. <laughs> that's Very about nice. as extended as that is. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's more experience than I got with it. We didn't even yeah. have a shooting team when I was in high school. Really? Uh-uh. Well, I, I grew up in the sticks, so. Well, I did too, and you would think, I mean, that would be. But you're in Tennessee, right? Tennessee, a little podunk town called Sparta, Tennessee. Grew up there, went to oh. school there in the 80s, you know, so that's like prime time where you'd have shooting teams and stuff, but I don't know. We didn't have them for some reason. Was that closer to Kentucky? No, that's, um, it's closer to Knoxville. We're right on the plateau okay. as you're going up before you get to Crossville. I'm going to say, if you're close to Kentucky, then you're probably into shine making and all that. But. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Other kind of growing uh, agriculture type stuff. But <laughs> Right. <laughs> no, no, no. We weren't into that. No, we were uh, We were all plow boys where we grew up. Yeah. We did a lot of hay, a lot of cattle, that kind of yeah. stuff. A lot of tobacco. But uh, we're, we're talking about our sponsor. I don't have any of those people. I don't have a tobacco sponsor. I don't have a hay sponsor. Don't, hey, did you don't have a do don't it? don't have a liquor sponsor yet either, Jeremy? Why have you not hooked that? That's not come to volition. Haven't heard from them. No, uh, I'll take care of that. Hadn't heard from them, but I'll we, take care of that. We would love to. Actually, I did. Uh, I was telling somebody about them the other day. Uh, we'll talk about that off air. Yeah. yeah, Modern Spartan Systems. You guys make sure if you want to have your guns properly cleaned, but not only clean them but optimize them. Use Modern Spartan Systems line of. Cleaning solutions, lubes, greases, and, of course, they've got that awesome TVT engine oil additive that I use on the lead sled that keeps her running. I'm at, I haven't been driving a lot lately, so I still hadn't, hadn't gone over 320,000 miles yet, but I'm approaching it. Still getting there. So i got to get a road trip coming up. I need to go down to Florida, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I need a little road trip down to Florida when I get back from Poland. I think that would be a good, good little trip. It's the only place to be. That's that's where you got to be. You guys go to seventeen seventy six United. Get all the talking lead swag, t shirts, patches. Uh, we're still working on getting those cups there. Um, Dad Gummit James, <laughs> he's dragging his feet. But our tumblers are still available at dip one two three dot com forward slash talking lead, and you can get your awesome talking lead black assault tumblers. They're not for snowflakes. Not for uh-huh. the not for the faint of heart. The Talking Lead Assault Mug, baby. There you go. <laughs> Get them while they're hot, and they'll keep your drinks cold or hot. Better than a Yeti, Jeremy. I done a, I did a side-by-side comparison. Let me guess. Pool comparison with some rum? Uh, well, to, to keep everything controlled, I just used ice. Three cubes oh, of okay. ice in each, and then I set them 
same climate, same everything. Ours lasted, I mean, it was close. We probably had a, another hour of cubes still left in ours before the Yeti completely melted theirs. So. Nice. And then cool. the official wristware timepiece of Talking Lead, Defy Watches and Smith & Bradley, ladies and gentlemen, which is why we have Jeremy here. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this news. So, Jeremy, let's hit them with it. So, the new Sans 13 2.0 is now available. We just shipped all of our pre sales out. They are done. They are ready for battle at this moment. There you and go. you can buy them directly on our website. And I think we should do something. I am not supposed to discount this watch. Okay. Well, you uh, did the pre-sale, and the pre-sale was a discount, right? The, the pre-sale was a loss leader. It was and a ridiculous uh, deal, and you lead heads that jumped on that, you are going to be four. so yeah, you're going to be so glad you so did. You guys bought that at less than what we manufacture it for. <laughs> oh gosh! And you did uh, what? A couple hundred of those? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we had to shut it off. We're like, okay, we're done. We're good. We're good. We shut it. We clicked. We just done. Right. Clicked it off. But we only did it on social media. We did not throw it out to our, it. We just it, we just left it alone. Yeah. <laughs> said, well, okay. you wouldn't let me advertise it, so it was just the people who listened to the show were able to get that deal. Right. And what we're going to do today, you can't advertise it as well. Okay. <laughs> because we're not, like I'm not we're not supposed to discount it because the watch is so far over the top. It is. I mean, if you go and you buy the same exact quality watch, quality and features, yeah. It will cost you twelve hundred to fourteen hundred bucks. Jeez. And I don't. You can take the watch, take it to the jeweler, and say, "Hey, bring me that tag healer. I want to put this side by side with that." Dude, I was telling you my story. I took I took my Sans thirteen um, original into the jeweler the other day. I was getting a battery. I didn't want to jack it up, you know. So, uh, and they were taking it. They're going, "What kind of watch is this?" I was like, it's Smith & Bradley. You go, I I've heard of these, but I've never seen one. They go, this is amazing. This is the quality in this watch. I mean, they had the thing apart. And we're looking at the guts, and these guys were jaw-dropping. You know, it was like, how much did you pay for this thing? I was like, well, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, but retail <laughs> on these things is, you know, and yeah. they're like, there's no way. It's like, how do they make money? Well, the, the new Sans 13 2.0 is above and beyond that. Jeez. The movement is the best movement that money can buy. The case structure, we've even gone so far. At, the watch you have is a 200-meter water resistance. Mm -hmm. The new one is 300-meter. Nice. So you've even Dive with up it. that. Yeah. So it is everything you could ever dream of in a twelve to $1,400 watch. We've done it. And we're running a special deal just for the lead Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm getting out here? Even though you're not I, supposed to, you're going to break. I'm going to break, I'm gonna break rules. protocol. Yeah, I am. I always break rules. They always get, well, yeah, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? <laughs> uh, well, whatever. Because we're not going to advertise it. You, the only way you're going to know about this, and I ask, please, people, if you're listening to it, don't go posting the discount code all over the place so everybody else can check out on it. Don't if you post listen to it, the show. Yeah, don't post it anywhere and don't give it to anybody. Make them listen to the show to get it. Now, if they're all leadheads and you're all sitting around like, oh, I was listening to this podcast, it, okay, I get it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Leadheads can do that. Um, but I don't want to have everyone like post it on a forum and then have everybody flock to it. That's not what we're trying to do. So anyway, let's do this. This is a special treat just for you leadheads, just because you're leadheads. So we're going to, it's $499, this watch. <laughs> Comparable, you're going to spend $1,200. 500 versus 1200 yep. And I'm going to take a stupid, stupid deal here. <laughs> You're just going to get crazy. I just, I just want to hear who's, I want to see how many people are listening, paying attention. Okay. And I'm going to take 200 bucks off. 300 bucks. Holy crap. 300 bucks. It'll be $299. Two, $299. Yeah, look, it's going to cover the cost of the people picking and packing, shipping, doing all the stuff that we need to do to get it out to you. Holy it's going to cover that. So the Sans 13 2.0, you go to Smith & Bradley's website, which is uh, smithandbradleyltd.com? 
Yep. Smith, Smith Bradley LTD.com. Smith Bradley LTD.com. And if people want to see what people are saying about it now, mm-hmm. go to our Instagram, go to our Facebook. People that already have it are just, they're going, dude, you, you blew it out of the park here. You've done way over the top this time. And we know we have because it is awesome. A twelve hundred dollar comparable watch to other watches. Uh, regular oh. retail five hundred bucks. You guys are going to get it for two ninety nine. That's crazy. That's awesome. Let's see here. Yeah, he's showing me a picture of it right now. Yeah, I, I've seen it. I've I've had a boner for it for a while. A wrist boner. <laughs> oh, it's a little wrist wrist porn. So you've got a, a protective back on it, also. So. This is the NATO strap that it comes on. The NATO strap. That's nice. I like that. I haven't seen that yet. That's cool. Yeah, this... And then uh, we'll be able to tell you here in the next uh, month or so of some special projects we're doing with the Sands 13. Yeah, he just told me off air a little bit about what's going on. You guys are definitely going to want to hear about that. So um, as soon as we're able... As soon as the NDA is lifted and Jeremy can talk about it, we'll have him back on. And you might want to keep tuned to uh, some social media because we'll probably do some sneak peeks of that here in the next couple of weeks. So, Jeremy, they want to know what the code is. What's the code they got to use? You have to ask. Is it is it lefty? It's leadhead. Is it lead? You're going to use leadhead again? Okay. We're going to use leadhead. There you go, guys. It's only going to be good for only that product. And it's only good for a limited time. Very. Very limited time, guys. So... As you hear this, jump on it immediately because I know some of you guys are like a week behind on some of this. So at least for the next, what, three weeks maybe? Let's see. Let me pull up the calendar here. Pull up your calendar there. Let's give them a – so this today is, um, as you guys are listening to this show, Friday the 24th of August. We're going to run until Friday the 14th of September. There you go, guys. Plenty of time for you to get an awesome watch. Be a great time to buy a gift for somebody. That uh, you can tell them you paid twelve hundred bucks for it. They're not going to know the difference. Not gonna know it's going to. They're going to feel it's like gonna it. It's going to end at eight o'clock in the morning on the fourteenth. There you go. There you and go. limit one use per customer. One unit per customer. That'd be per shipping address, right? <laughs> yes. That, yes, that's correct. If you want, you, you can do that. Yeah, I know. It. Yeah, I mean that's how you can tell. It's like, well, wait, I got. Three different names going to the same address. It's like, uh, yeah. hold on, something's up here. Now, what if they got more than one uh, leadhead in the household? See, uh, then we run into that problem because we got, you know, we got multiple leadheads in the same household on some of these people. So, is there a place for them to leave a comment, a little special something? It, if they go, hey, we got three people here and we want three of them in this house, just uh, email our service department. See, tell them, Jeremy's tell them we're a leadhead, <laughs> and tell them that Jeremy's was, a pushover. That we said it, like he said we could do it. Damn it! There you and go. And then they'll go. Then they'll look at each other. And go. He did it again. <laughs> Son of a gun. Very cool, Jeremy. That is awesome. Thank you for doing that. And you guys who have have pre ordered those the ones that jumped on and got that pre order deal, they're shipping out. So be looking in your mailbox. Yeah. Yeah, there was a few guys uh, from a few podcasts ago that reached out and says, hey, when, when those come in, they're ready. You know, we want to make sure we jump in. Uh, like I told you earlier, we'll be reaching out to them today to let them know that uh, those are ready. There you go. And uh, we'll create their checkout for them, and we'll get them going. Very cool. That's awesome. And then, of course, Defy watches, there's still great deals going on those. Uh, I mean, just regular price, those are great deals. you got the Battlefield, you got the Scout. And you got the whoa, classic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Hold, hold your wad here. Uh-oh. What do we got here? We got oh, they, they won't let me log in. Yeah, they will. <laughs> They're like, bar him. <laughs> Keep Jeremy out oh. of the back end. Let's see what we got here. I like going to that discount section. So normally Battlefield, look- normally Battlefield, 70 bucks. Normally the Scouts, um, 90 bucks. Uh, normally the Classic Field Watch is 299 they don't have the hooligan anymore. Um, you need to take that off there. Are you planning on bringing the hooligan back? You know, we're having uh, – the manufacturer for that movement just actually went out of business in Switzerland. Oh. This is like the most unheard of thing to ever happen in Switzerland. Yeah. How's that yeah. happen? Well, we're we're trying to see if there's another person that's going to pick up that mob, that movement for us. I got you. So 
We're kind of playing the waiting game right now. Maybe you should pick it up. <laughs> uh, you probably get it at a good price right now. They went out of business. <laughs> yeah, that's still probably about a three to four million dollar investment. Oh damn! Okay. It's just because the, we got to bring that. all. We got to ship everything here. Yeah, and we've don't get me wrong. We've kicked it around like, well, what if? But so you got to bring Geppetto over here to <laughs> to well, show you how to that, do the movement. We got to have a much, much, much larger facility and we gotta have an environmental control, we gotta have certain controls in place and uh, I think you guys deal. are ready. I think you guys are ready for that. I think I think Smith and Bradley defy um is prima. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Oh heck, let's do this. What are we doing, Leadhead? Look out. Let's do it. He's so, tinkering, he's tinkering. The battle the battlefield and the scout, we're doing forty five percent off for a lead. Yeah. 45 holy cow dude bring it on man i just got a new shipment of them yesterday <laughs> there you go guys yeah 40, up. that's the best deal you've done on these to date 45 percent off holy crap so, guys we uh we just took a we've been selling a ton of these we just took a ton in to the warehouse yesterday yeah and this is perfect time heck why not move them out there you go guys uh, them up. Move them out. stock up the Scout, the Battlefield. Now, does this go for the Classic Field Watch too? Oh, oh, oh. Good oh, call. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, ho, 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 oh, ho. wait a minute. Hold the no. phone. Let's do this. Hold on there. So, um. Rewind. We're going to do, so you we do got 40, something. Do 45 on the Scout and the Battlefield. Uh, we're just going to change everything up right here. Okay. Right now. All right. Right now. Because we just changed it yesterday, and we only did it on social media to see what the response was, and it was like, holy crap. Um, so you guys need to know about this, too. I'm anxiously waiting. You're killing oh. me, Whitey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Smalls. All right. So you want to defy Classic Watch, and you want something that you've never seen before at this price? Go get your Defy Classic watch right now while while we still have some inventory left on these. Because once these are gone, they're gone. Put two back for me. And uh, we sell them at $199. $200. $200. $89. What? What? $110 bucks off. Go get them while you can. Cause <laughs> okay. I guarantee you. We've only got a... Uh, Let's get this mother crawl! We've only got a couple hundred left. Okay. So while supplies yeah. last... Yeah, that's it. While supplies last on this one because there's going to be some changes coming up on this model. Okay. So this is a Swiss Movement 316L stainless steel with a domed sapphire glass on it. This is the most classic field watch you're going to get for 89 bucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I dare you to find one like it for 89 bucks. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> nope, it will not. Uh, Hell, buy it. buy it and sell it on eBay. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're Jeremy's not going to know what you do with it. So, <laughs> but we don't, we don't, um, we don't do any paid advertising with that. We only do it on closed networks, closed mm -hmm. groups, like with you, or right. we put it on our social media. But we will not go out and advertise that. There you go. So I'm not going to advertise that. So only you guys listening get that deal. So you can get. Uh, at Defy's website, defywatches.com, you get the Classic Field Watch, $110 off while supplies last, and then you can get the Scout and or the Battlefield, if you want, for 45% off uh, until, how long is that going to run? Same same for yeah. the... as we'll run it till the 14th. Till the 14th, September 14th? Yeah. That's good. That's a good deal. Guys, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't bring you better deals than this, so... <laughs> I, I, this is amazing. At, at $89, let's just say uh, that's less than what we paid for them. Jeez. There you go. Just for people, you people, you know, people go, why do you do, why, how, why do you sell stuff for cheaper than what you make it for? Well, there's a lot of philosophy behind that, that either I can put wrist watches on wrists and those people become my advertisers. Yeah. Or I can pay to advertise. Exactly. And, and hope that I get people to do it. But the more risks I put watches on. You got walking get, billboards. 
Walking, That's right. you got walking so, testimonials. So we have decided to do certain lines at less and chalk up the loss as an advertising expense. The customer gets a product at our loss, but we're paying for them to advertise for us. Makes sense. So there you so, go, Leadheads. You're basically you're you're a uh, a paid spokesperson. <laughs> yeah, to a degree. I mean, you're an ambassador. Yeah. Very cool. So you can go out and say, hey, I'm an ambassador for Defy Watches. Go and get your scout. But don't give them the discount code. That's just for people who yeah. listen to the show. That's just leadheads. Yeah. So the, the as of right team. now, I just went ahead and marked down. Um, just right now. I just marked it down. You don't even need a code. Just go and buy as many as you want if you want. Just just did it. You just did it. Just did it. It's just, just did there. It. So again. So if you, go, if you go to the website right now, click on the Defy Classic Watch, it's $110 off. There it is. <laughs> Holy shit. It's right there. So that's going to go because that's this is open to everybody now, guys. So it's a race for you guys to beat everybody else to get that price. Now it's a race for you to get this podcast out. I know. It's a race for me to get this edited and get it out. So yeah, there like you go, Leadheads. In an hour. <laughs> Before I got to get on the plane, right? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Very good. That is awesome. As always, Jeremy is bringing it, man. He is bringing and the deals to you leadheads. How good is it to have leadheads as our spokesman for our watch lines? All over the world. And people can buy this in other countries too, right? They listen to us in other countries? I just shipped to Dubai yesterday. Okay. There you go. So I, they ship, I ship everywhere. Ship worldwide. So unlike some of our stuff, this, these can go international. So you leadheads that are international, this, this applies to you too. There you go. Yeah. Just hook it up. The shipping will come up when you go to check out. Tell them where you're at. Boom. Done. Perfect. Awesome. Jeremy, thank you so much. That is, that is the best. All right. So let's get into our interview with Spikes and uh, Inland Manufacturing. This is uh, some from, from some of our interviews when we were down at Big 3 East. Um, but this is uh, great interviews. You guys are really going to enjoy this. So hit it, Gunny. Hit it, sweetheart. So and uh, we are going. We're recording. Sweet. Let's do it. We're talking to talk talking. Joe, yeah. we're talking to talk talking in here, buddy. Tick tock, tick tock. And we're videoing because Kit likes to look at himself in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> so, all right, Glad Heads, we are back. We're at the uh, 2018 spring edition of the Big Three East here in Daytona, Florida. I think it's actually DeLand is where we're at. Is actually, it? I found out yesterday we're right in between DeLand and Daytona. So we're right in the butt yeah. crack of both of them. <laughs> yeah. Right in the crack of it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. Right. I was trying to figure out where to tell the uh, all the news agencies that have been coming the last couple of days. And I said, I think I'm in DeLand. I might be in Daytona. I could be. Not sure. But we're somewhere. Oh, let me right just drop you a pin. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just turn under the power line. Just follow yeah. my yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's that's the direction that everybody knows. Follow the power once line. you get to the power lines. Yeah, yeah. that's then that's a good landmark too because that's how I find it every time. Uh, that's yeah. how I've been finding yep. it. <laughs> so joining me to my left, as you guys are listening on the radio dial here, I've got David, and I'm not even going to try your. It's Kawaka. <laughs> that's it, man. God, I got that right. <laughs> Uh, with uh, all these companies, MKS Supply, Inland, but you best know them as High Point. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to be talking some awesome new um, carbines that you guys have. 10 mil. Yeah, and then going around the table, we've got none other than Kit Cope himself, ladies and gentlemen. Spikes Tactical joining us. Thank you so much. And then we've got Cole Lelux. Is that how you say that? Sure. It's Cole Lelou, but either (laughs) way. Lelou. Or just Cole Deluxe. I like the X. Yeah. (laughs) This is Mr. Puts Cold that, Deluxe. He puts, <laughs> Lelou? Is yep. it Lelou? Yes, sir. What? What? Uh, where's that from? Is that um, Cajun? Cajun, yeah. So you one of them Cajun I'm a crawfish Kunas. eaters. Yes, absolutely. Are it, they in season right now? Is that Kunas? It's a Kunas. Is that it's what it is? Yeah. 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 It's Kunas. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. Also with Spikes Tactical. Yes, sir. He is the GM. And I got to get I gotta get Kit's name. He's the marketing manager. Mm-hmm. The MM. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Thanks for having Thank us. This is, Again. Is, you've been on before. Kit's been on before. Yeah. Um, this is your first time, right? Absolutely. Okay. I usually try to avoid uh, talking to people. And this is <laughs> this is David's first time, too. Yeah. So yeah. two new guys. we got to hit with new guys' questions. Brian got out of here before I got to hit him with the new guy questions. So. Cole tries to stay away from uh, from anything that's recorded. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Because he's, uh, he, he errs a little on the extreme side. 
Well, we, we're <laughs> no I far enjoy. extremities here. Yeah, you which know? I enjoy. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, let someone else talk that can be politically correct. I can't do that. <laughs> no, no, yeah. we're not politically <clears throat> correct here. Yeah, no, no, it, it no, it's, no it's, damn it's way. painful. No damn way. So I'm just going to start off with a new guy question just to loosen you guys up. And then we're going to talk product because the leadheads like to get to know you guys a little bit better. Right on. Let and me I'll, just put this out there. Let's, let's throw it. I think Stick the first it. time that I was on the air with you was three years ago. So you get you. We'll go ahead and let you do new guys' questions too. I'll, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> you do them again. Your hair has become glorious <laughs> in the you. last few years. <laughs> Thank you. Glorious. Thank you. I would call it a mane. It I is. would call it a mane. It's, it's I, I'm totally envious. Right. 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 I'm totally envious. Here. So next month it's gone. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. It's 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 the link now to where I can donate it. So I do this. Oh, for is that what you're doing? Hawks, like Hawks, Hawks for, Love, or Hawks Locks for Kids. AJ Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm That's going. Cool. We're going to the Sheepdog Impact Assistance uh, uh, Charity Ball. They call it the um, uh, Hero uh, Hero Ball or something like that. Um, it's in Rogers, Arkansas. So what we're going to do is we're going to auction off the opportunity for someone to cut my hair. Oh, sweet. That's uh, cool. But they also get, well, I'm putting together a couple of different packages. We've got some rifles that uh, some of the companies that sponsor us are, have donated. Uh, Diego's going to throw a knife in for one of the packages. Uh, Benchmade's throwing some knives in for one of the packages. They're going to get to take those knives, and you know, they're going to get no to cut way. one of my locks. Uh, no way. Well, depending on how much uh, they drink and what time of the night, <laughs> you know. So it may be under strict supervision, or they may just get to simulate that. But So you won't have a tomahawk company, then? <laughs> well, that would that could work too. That, that so I'm actually work. I'm actually sending my mom your the, mom my mom the the Hawks Locks for Kids. Okay, yes, Hawks Locks for Kids. Yep. So she uh, she for the last twenty years she's been growing her hair out and cutting it and donating it and oh, growing it out nice. and cutting it and donating. It. It's like a regular thing she does. This every is my couple second of years. year around. Yeah, yeah. Every it takes it about years, two years she, she to donates. get like this. Good yeah, so her. that's and awesome. And she and she uh, she's donated to different places. Mm -hmm. So like uh, the I think the first one that she started out with was some locks for love or locks of love or something like that. Right. And then she did a uh, she did another one for uh, sunrise kids something or something. For, she mixes you know, it up kids every time. And then yeah, and so so that's awesome. Good now she's her. got another one. Right on. That is awesome. But we're going to raise a little money for the Sheepdog Impact Assistance. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with them or not, but they uh, the organization that was developed to uh, keep our military, law enforcement, first responder, men and women uh, active. It's a support um, nonprofit uh, for them when they retire. You know, they kind of they still have that need to serve. So instead mm -hmm. of them sitting on the couch, and it's you know designed to help reduce the twenty two suicides yeah. a day that uh, you know our, our law enforcement military men and women are doing so the, yeah there's a there's they that, keep them active think, uh, by doing skydives hunting mm -hmm. different things like that and then they the big thing they do are disaster recovery missions that they put together throughout the united states so when there's a big flood or tornadoes go in and do yeah. damage they'll get teams together from these retired law enforcement military and they have these specialties you know yeah and they'll go out and they'll help the communities. Very that's cool. Awesome. Yeah, wow. that's awesome. I think I don't think it gets talked about enough um, that uh, you you get in a. It's the same exact way for professional athletes. Mm -hmm. So you you exactly. I've, like I've dedicated every minute of my life of the last twenty years to professional athletics, and then once that's over. Well, you're yeah, still you, left with that drive. Yeah. What do you yeah. do? You're still do you left go? with that drive, and it's and it's not like you know I've I've got a, a degree and I've got you know I've got some know how and and you know there's plenty of other things I can do, but there's that drive, that drive to compete at the highest level on the planet. You know that drive to to challenge myself. It's right. the same thing with you know with high speed operators and and stuff, and so then they get out. And you still have that need, right? So you know you're, and you know, Sunday. And it's hard to find a place. Sunday to, softball league isn't really going to cover it, gonna you help. know. Yeah, yeah. So like, the organizations like that 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 keep you active, I think, are extremely important. Yes, absolutely, and they do a very good job at it. Um, very successful organization. So check them out whenever you get an opportunity. It's sheepdogia.org. Awesome. And uh, if you guys want to come to the charity ball, I can get you. 
Get you tickets. Rogers, you know? Arkansas. Rogers, Arkansas. It's beautiful right? up there. Look it's the, the beautiful part of Arkansas. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's talk products now. Well, wait, I didn't hit you with the new guy question. <laughs> We're gonna hit questions. We'll do it. We'll pepper them throughout the show. So first question is, uh, what's your earliest recollection of being exposed to a firearm? Mm. First time you shot one? Probably around twelve years old, shooting my dad in the woods. Shooting yeah. your dad? Shooting with Did my dad. Did you shoot your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I shot my dad in the woods when I was 12. It was tragic, but it had to be done. I shot cans and birds, no dad. <laughs> <laughs> what were you What were you shooting? Uh, 1022, Ruger 1022. Okay. Do you still have it? Yeah. Well, he still has it. It's still his. Okay. Yeah. But you have access to it. So oh, yeah. The first gun you ever shot, you still yep. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That's cool. You reminisce. What about you, Kit? Uh, I actually have a photo of the first time I ever went shooting nice. with, with my dad. Uh, it was actually the first time that I ever shot by myself, like sure. as in held the thing up by myself and You're that kind big of thing. boy. So yeah, so I was five, uh, and it was a uh, mini fourteen. Oh, nice! And uh, I Cut remember your teeth on a mini fourteen. Yep, That's cool. I remember nice. I could I could barely I could barely hold it up to to get my shot. Take the shot. Okay, let it down. <laughs> Rest for a minute. <laughs> Hold it up. And so uh, my dad thought he had the forethought to think. Uh, you know, uh, you know what? He's gonna want to. He's gonna want to remember this. the first time. Yeah. And so I actually own that Mini Fourteen now. Dude, you should post that. That would be awesome. Yeah, I, I think awesome I have picture. on my Instagram. I you got it on Instagram? Photo. Yeah, That's I'm in cool. full. And little kid. Do you still fatigues. have access to that Mini Fourteen? <laughs> it's it's in my safe. Nice. Yep. Very cool. What about you, Cole? Uh, my first time was probably. Six or seven, and in the woods with a stepdad I had at the time. Okay. Did you shoot him? No, I did not. I don't shoot dads or stepdads. Or stepdads? Yeah. So we, you got along with him. We so. stuck to, uh, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Came, they came and gone. Yeah, they came and went as, when I was a kid. So I'll make sure my kids have a better experience with the gun Atta thing. Boy. Yeah, Atta Cole boy. is Oliver. Cole is the, is the, is the Oliver of Spike. I got you. Yeah. He's the yeah. Oliver. Yeah. Yeah, you got so. passed around from home to home. No, I, I'm just you know, teasing. I lived in one just home. Just the guys <laughs> came and went. You know? My mother just couldn't keep it together. So, do you remember what that firearm was? Uh, it was a 22 bolt action. I don't remember the brand, and I don't have it. So, yeah, my kids because that first, guy's long gone. He took his 22. He, yeah, he took his gun with him. Douchebag, douchebag. Yeah. So I took. So my two kids both have uh, their first guns while they're in the womb, and they're both lever action 22s. And they both have their own, you know, revolvers. And then I, and then obviously now I'm working at a AR manufacturer. I collect all their birthdays and serial numbers. Working and, at a premier uh, AR manufacturer. Oh, uh-huh. Their uh, their gun collection is pretty impressive. Already. I would imagine. It's, yeah, it's probably cool. bigger cool. than mine. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, very cool. All right, so we're gonna start over here. We're gonna go to high point. And uh, we want to talk about your new products. You've got some new carbines. I mean, I think everybody is familiar with the the nine Relatively, and your forty five yeah, yeah. and your, your uh, thirty eights that came out or three eighties that came out. Um, was it last year? When they... uh, no, the three eighty has actually been out for about three years. About three years. Um, okay. It, some people. Call I remember it we did fast. an interview uh, at NRA. And, right. And right. You guys had released them then at that time. But you've got another offering now. Yeah. New new for this year. That just started. Wait out. for it. Wait for it. <laughs> 10 millimeter carbine. Bam, there it is, 10 mil. Uh, is anybody else doing a 10 mil? I think you guys are the uh, first, right? No, nah, there are some other ones out there, but one of the biggest catches with ours is ours is like the only one that's under $1,000. Yeah. I mean, ours are, are uh, we have two models. One that's an all black model that's 389 and we do a real tree edge camo model that's like 429 or 439. So yeah, you can't be. Really that. affordable 10 millimeter carbines. Yeah. I mean, and, and guys are going nuts for 10 mil, you know, lately. and. Sure. So they're going nuts up this carbine. It's been really well received. Now, is it still the same <clears throat> uh, standard mags that you guys have? For yeah, we're still using our mags, those 10-round mags. Um, the size of the carbine itself is the same as, like, our 40 and 45 carbine. I mean, it's mm-hmm. almost identical in size. Uh, just some little new changes with the, the black model. We're doing, like, a flat matte finish on the receiver now, and okay. same with the barrel. And the other big, big cab with 10 mil is their threaded barrels now. So a lot of guys that do own high points do own more expensive toys as well, and mm-hmm. so they do want to suppress them. So now our ten mil can't, or ten mil rifle, yeah, can be suppressed. Okay. So, so your other ones don't have the threaded barrel. No, no, no. The standard carbines do not. Um, okay. We'll probably eventually do them all, like an inline change. They'll start coming right. threaded, but I mean, we don't know when we'll get around to that. Okay. Yeah, you know, but so it's the ten mil. Yeah, it's a it's nice. kind of an exclusive thing for it. All right. So if I if I get down there, I need to shoot that. Yeah, yeah, without because I didn't realize that you guys had the the ten. So. Yeah. Very cool. It's been a big hit. <laughs> I'm sure it has been. Yeah, without a doubt. Now, um, 
you, with these other companies, did you did you bring anything new with Inland or uh, with, yeah, uh, with with Inland? Okay, um, we've got uh, well, M- MKS is that's like, the it's, parent company. M- yeah, yeah, MKS yeah. is who I am, and we represent <clears throat> most High Point and gotcha. do all their marketing and their distribution and all that fun stuff. Um, Inland, yeah, but new with Inland, we brought is it's called our M30P. It's still an M1 carbine receiver action, but put into a Sage chassis and a 12 inch barrel with a Gearhead Modworks 2 arm brace. So it's a pistol. This sounds badass. Yeah, it, it, it is badass. <laughs> Twelve inch pistol, aluminum chassis. You know, so you got your rails. I mean, it's it's a more modernized M1 carbine as you can get. So it's like a, like a 21st century M1 carbine. Is that here? It's here. Oh it's damn! Here. Yeah, I'll definitely gotta try that out. <laughs> M1 carbine pistol. Yeah. Right. Take that. <laughs> in, it's cool. It's in really a souped cool. up chassis. Right. Yeah. I gotta check that out. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. I mean, so if it goes cold before <coughs> long, I'm sure CGL will let us pull. So some where out. where can our <laughs> listeners check these out? Where can they go uh, look at this gun porn? For more of the high point stuff, it's highpointfirearms.com, and with the inlands, it's inland-mfg.com. Okay, and are these available there. now? For the ten mils are available now. Okay, yeah, the ten mils are available now. Both the real tree and the black, and the M30 series, they're going to be due out this year. I would. Bet we might start shipping them by NRA. Okay, and what's the price point on those? Did you say uh, on M30P? It's like thirteen ninety nine on okay. that pistol. All right, yeah. Inland dot motherfucking guns. Motherfucking guns. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> so we'll just we'll lead into now. We'll just. Did you right. have anything else? That no, you, you, that you, you got us, man. You're gonna captivate me with here. Um, yeah, that's what I got for now. So I'm gonna take a break <laughs> after this interview, and I'm gonna go. Uh, you, I heard you guys. We're getting ready to talk about it. I got to go see this because you didn't have it the first day. Uh, you snuck this in, I think, yesterday or something. But um, the new caliber, yes, the oh, new caliber. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, one of the new calibers. One of it wasn't here yeah. yet. We had one of the guys at the shop uh, send it out yesterday afternoon yeah. or yesterday okay. uh, morning. So oh, you're telling me there's something else coming. <clears> oh, we've got a few right. things. We got a few things coming. Well, let's this year's going to be big. It's gonna be huge, really big. Huge for yeah. spikes. It's already started off really big. Well, let's talk about it. What's what's let's happening? Let's do it. What's uh, happening? What well, you guys got new? We're coming off of uh, uh, our whirlwind media tour. Yeah, uh, yeah. We we came out with a, uh, a a slightly controversial ad in Skill Set Magazines where it dropped originally. Well, aside from our social media, mm-hmm. and uh, is the the everybody calls it the Not Today Antifa ad. Um, <laughs> it's very very popular. Uh, well, tell on, us about on it. both sides. For who's not familiar with it, what uh, what was your? Uh, it's just a uh, it's a photo that uh, that depicts a large crowd of angry masked protesters. Okay, wielding you know flashlights and bottles and chains and and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, angry behind mob. them. Yep, yeah, behind them, a uh, city on fire. Okay, you know, the rubble of a city on fire. So and much then Berkeley. some, yeah, yeah, and then <laughs> some much Berkeley, yeah. K Rail, and then four legally armed citizens, um, basically just defending the right. behind against the K Rail against the mob, yeah. Um, and the uh, so we wrote on the top of the ad, "Not today, Antifa," and then sat it, <laughs> cited in Charlottesville and Berkeley and right. You know. Nice. So, uh, yeah, that, that, That's uh, awesome. that ruffled some feathers. Is that in this month's issue? That was in the, you missed uh, it. the shot show. You missed it all together. Oh, edition. is it a shot show? It's, it's yeah, a I didn't get to talk image. to you guys at shot show. Yeah. yeah. You had the picture. I'll it's really it. cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a good one. Okay. It's a good one. So we actually, it was so popular that we made it into posters. And now nice. you can go to spikestactical.com and buy the posters. You should do shirts. Of the, we're, you should do we, shirts, We too? Actually, we've got, uh, we have a shirt that, uh, that kind of went with it, but we're, we're working on something uh, okay. on, a, on, a, on a T-shirt and a sticker that are, that are a little more congruous with, it. with the actual ad. Well, the reason it became newsworthy for people who are like, what's the big deal with that? Because that's kind of what we thought. Yeah. Is because Did the left started calling us Antifa? Nazis. Yeah, like they do generally. immediately when they don't yeah. agree with you, they start calling you Nazis. Absolutely. And um, Newsweek and Vice News and a couple other kind of ran with that and let it be assumed that we were Nazis. Mm-hmm. And um, so That's then we cool. had to, you know, they were asking us to take it down, take it down, and we basically gave them the bird yeah, and told them no. Yeah, That's sand. awesome. And um, it looks like a painting. Did somebody draw that? That's Jason that Swar. Jason Swar at Straight Eight. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's it's a, actual photos. Yeah, yeah he's a hell of a of a of a photographer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, the the original one of those posters. The first thing that kicked it off was Newsweek. So Newsweek 
uh, got a hold of it. They called Spike's Tactical for a comment mm-hmm. on it uh, at like 6.30 p.m. after everybody had already gone home, left a message, mm. and then 9 o'clock that night ran ran with their story. Oh, of course. And so said, yeah, no, saying Spikes, yeah, couldn't spikes be, yeah, could, yeah, couldn't be. Exactly. Spikes wouldn't comment. comment. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we wouldn't right. comment. Yeah. And then so, further, they, they decided to go ahead and put in their article a picture of a strip lower off our social media and said, this is a bump stock like the one used by the mass murderer. <laughs> Stephen Patrick. It was a strip oh, wow. lower receiver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They want to lump us in with every shit back they can. So, yeah. Oh, so unreal. then, uh, vice news followed them with the same kind of hit piece. And then, uh, there've been a, there've been I don't a, know how I a bunch this. of, uh, it was big, a yeah. bunch so how, of news how, agencies how that have, I don't we, know. It, um, it, it was seen by like 92 million people. Cause we got numbers back yeah. from the people that were running the number stuff. And I'm like, Holy I don't, smokes. I don't know. Yeah. How I for something money. that was literally a group of guys, like all of us would be right. Against. All the land heads right in there saying, Lefty, you know, we all know about this. <laughs> we, yeah. <Right>. Well, <laughs> well the, and this is a group of guys standing up against a domestic terrorist group yeah. deemed so by the Department of Homeland Security. Sure. So to me, it wasn't really controversial Not at until all. They, they made it controversial. Not a, yeah, they yeah. were the, oh, well, you're, you're pointing guns at, at unarmed civilians. No, no they're, they're armed. armed. I don't see they're that. armed. Not only are they armed, <laughs> they're not pointing yeah, guns at I, them. No. The only thing that's pointed at them, I think, is a the finger. finger. Yeah. The pointing finger. guns version is coming next. Yeah. <laughs> Is a finger, and no matter what, if you're if you're an Antifa member or uh, or any other type of dipshit, um, <laughs> no matter how you look at that photo, there are two obvious groups, and that is a group of attackers and a group of defenders. Mm-hmm. So either an whatever side group. you're on, yeah. yeah, there are attackers and defenders. Yeah. And it's a fair warning. Hey, this <clears throat> is what could happen if you guys keep it up. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. eventually you're going to attack wanna the wrong If you want to cross that line, mm-hmm. then. This is what's yeah, on the other side keep of pushing. it. pushing. Yeah, exactly. Eventually, because, uh, and I'm sure that you and and everybody that sat on the other side of this table, you know, have have talked about it. Our side, we're just not, we're not vocal about yeah. it. We're not. We don't get our panties in a while. Yeah. yeah. So we just let them talk and let them talk and we, let them keep spreading lies spin and the everything yeah. and spin yep. the narrative, and we. We ignore it. We oh, well, those are just you know idiots. Who wants to listen to idiots? Sure. But all the other idiots are, are listening, listening to, to the these idiots. idiots. Yeah, exactly. So eventually, we have to. They're going to keep pushing until we don't want to step back anymore. Yeah. And most people don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be called an extremist. Mm-hmm. You know, no one yeah. wants to pipe up and say something against all the big uh, media conglomerates because they don't want to get their personal stuff right. banned. Yeah. So, so Chris, at some point, someone has to just nut up and just do it. Yeah. Well, um, so that's I'm glad you guys. Yeah, they're up there. Yeah. Um, Tonto. <coughs> He's looking for some ear pro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, or they're not. He just took <laughs> off. He just took <laughs> off. Uh, so let's talk about uh, how you guys are going to arm the other side here. Well, uh, and our I'm new, sorry. You're going to so you're gonna outfit thing, the yeah. other side. <laughs> so well, well, our so the newest, uh, the newest shit stirring is um, on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, right? Yeah. Tuesday morning, we got uh, an email from YouTube. Uh, citing that we have had multiple infractions against their user guidelines, okay. which we had and never they, gotten an email before. They, they keep changing mine. Yeah, and, yeah. And how many years? We, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. actually, our YouTube channel is only about six months old. Oh, really? We just started. We that just started on that platform. Yep. <laughs> um, and so since then, though, we we decided, okay, let's let's go after that YouTube platform. And so we've bought a bunch of equipment and and done a bunch of training on editing and all mm-hmm. this other stuff to to actually utilize that a little bit more and then i, I think we only have just under three thousand subscribers so far so it's a fairly small channel yeah well um, that's good in six and months, yeah so. and and they uh uh so they they told us that they were that we've we've had multiple infractions and this is a warning. They actually call it a strike. Okay, yeah, they, they call, call them strikes. Strike. So you get um, if you get three yeah. strikes, you're out. Exactly. Well, about two minutes later, we got another email that said we've suspended your channel due to multiple infractions. So they just skipped so, all yeah. your strikes. Yeah, just, just skipped through the strike process. You're out of here. And and got rid of us. Well, maybe they I, found the Antifa poster. I think they. Uh, <laughs> I they think probably they heard thought, about it. Yeah. I think they thought we were just gonna sit down and and let it happen. And that's just not who we are. Yeah. And so um, the next thing you know, all the other media outlets are contacting YouTube, asking what, you know, if they want to comment. Um, and then obviously. Their, their first comment was, 
yeah, they violate our policy, so we ban yeah. their channel. Well, as they keep getting more and more calls from media outlets, because we did a national press release, mm-hmm. well, then all of a sudden, they get someone more important on the phone, and they go, oh, I'm sorry, we actually made a mistake, and yeah. we've reinstated their channel. So really? this is this came minutes after. Minutes. Our, our channel got reinstated minutes after uh, it hit Dredge Report. <laughs> oh, my god! Yeah, and so... And the, after saying that we had we had we had definitely violated their their terms, um, then they didn't send us an email. They didn't send us an email saying, "Oh, hey, we made a mistake. Sorry, your channel's back up." No, no, no. The only the way we found out was uh, <clears throat> as I was doing an interview uh, the other day with ABC, I believe, who came out here to Big Three to do the interview. Um, the girl that was doing the interview got a uh an email from youtube mm-hmm. so all of the other outlets have said well youtube hasn't commented youtube hasn't gotten back to us well finally as i'm doing the interview she says oh okay this it just looks in. like yeah it looks like youtube <laughs> sent us an email saying that uh that there are so many videos on their platform that it's difficult for their moderators to keep up and uh and we occasionally they make that. a mistake. Yeah, I've heard that excuse and they, before. Yeah, and yeah. they seek to rectify it quickly. So basically what they're saying is we are too successful. Mm-hmm. We have too much business to properly police it. Oh, and by the way, we shoot first and then ask questions later. Yeah. Well, that's the same that's excuse exactly Twitter just gave uh, Senator Cruz when they were testifying about um, black, basically shadow banning the uh, congresswoman running and she had a pro-life ad uh, Blackburn, they, Marcia Blackburn, Marshall Blackburn. Yeah. yeah. So they, they, Tennessee, they shadow banned that. So no one could see it until it was too close to the election time. And then they, Oh, sorry, we made a mistake. Oh. So it seems to be a reoccurring uh, theme with them that they make a mistake and they're not going to admit it until somebody calls them out on it. Right. Yeah. And, and so uh, rather than sitting there, cause you know, so your us, channel's back up. Oh, it it's is. back up. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and our, our gun people, we, we have a habit of bickering, but we bicker amongst each other. Mm-hmm. So we'll talk on social media, but right. no one is seeing it because we're all shadow banned. And it doesn't really do any good. So we thought, let's, you know, let's go ahead and just make a big story. So like last night, I was watching Laura Ingram, and they're talking about YouTube censoring gun guys. Right. And there's our channel with one of our guys putting a trigger guard in, you know. So it's it's oh and that was the video that was the video that they took offense they to said was, was the installation. installation of a trigger guard a trigger guard guy it's a bump standing stop. behind yeah it's a bump stop guy standing yeah. behind a table you put this screw here you put that screw here boom you got trigger guard that right. was the video there's yeah. nothing controversial but they were on saying that that, that wow. promotes the sale of firearms is that what they were doing they were saying it shows how to install accessories and yeah, yeah. Of firearms uh, so anything that you do that and I mean modifying your yeah. firearms and they'll be banned in stuff that shows firearm safety they'll be banned in things that show people right. how to properly handle firearms so there's a lot of stuff there and then Kit was bringing the uh, the side of it to the news people that hey you can go up right now and look up you know how to make your own meth how to properly yeah. smoke marijuana yeah, bum fights all on in the there. street like felon fights I mean, probably how to abort a kid yeah right. oh yeah right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Sure, yeah 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 home home yeah. abortion kits right so the, yeah. it's, it's all on there it's selective they, they moral okay outrage with that. it's selective moral outrage on their part and they just um they're doing their political agenda basically through their media conglomerate google yeah. and yeah. youtube well, and, we all know what's going on yeah we oh, all know absolutely yeah. that's and that's what i've said so far is is look it's not even an opinion anymore it's it's fairly over getting ready to blow shit up in five minutes okay okay oh all right all right so so, so the new products let's go over that yeah, yeah let's, let's we, got fire. Fire. we go blow shit up and come back yeah. oh we can back? do that oh yeah, yeah. Or we can do that you want to do that yeah let's do that okay so uh we're gonna pick this back up we're gonna go blow some shit up i think we got what a thousand pounds of that's what uh, this said. is some oh. some new stuff too. That this we're gonna, is actually this is we'll our product. About, so yeah. yeah, but let's 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 give them a little teaser right quick. What are we? What's it called? So this is called Spikeomite. 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 So some binary <laughs> yeah. from spikes. Yeah. Oh, and, and it's next level stuff. Here we go. We're gonna go. We're gonna see it in action. We're gonna come back and talk about it. Right on. Stay tuned, guys. This. All right, lead heads. As promised, we made it. We survived the big explosions. And uh, we're going to talk Barely. about that. They, they were huge. Yeah. The concussion from those things. How far were we? Like uh, 100. That's about, about 100, 100 yards. Yeah. yeah, about 100 yards away from it. And you could, I mean, every bit of that concussion mm-hmm. just soaked in. You can feel it in your face. It feels yeah. glorious. Kind of kind of moves you back a little bit. I saw some people's um, cameras where they're doing the videos of it. 
where it actually the camera you can see the shock waves yeah. in yeah. the in their yeah, camera. The, yeah, you always the see the shock waves coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah you can was, watch it hit the ground, especially if there's water on the ground. You can just watch where it hit and then. Psh. Right, and those guys that did the slow mo. Yeah, oh yeah, awesome video. It's awesome. Did you guys do a slow mo? Um, we did not. We probably have one of our we've cameras got, that did. Yeah, I, we've got a slow mo. Was, we've got aerial, aerial and. You got some good angles on it. Yeah, yeah, we'll post that up soon. Yeah, yeah I can't wait to see that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, and so people will say, just like you thought, oh, right. that's way more than 50 pounds. But it's not. That's That it was that was like, a 50 pounder. It felt like almost 100 pounds. Yeah. It, exactly. At least 75. Exactly. At least 75. So on the, in the Pepsi Challenge. The Pepsi Challenge. In the Pepsi Challenge, our, how, how much are it going to the discs? Is uh, it an ounce? Or, uh, so what we're talking about, Leadheads, is, is binary. Binary yep. explosives, to, just to catch everybody up. Yeah, so it's I think it's uh, like three and a half ounces or something like that. It's less. Than, I don't. It's some, it's some number of grams. I don't, I don't know. Right, right. Offhand, offhand. Anyway, it's probably a secret it's amount. It's an inch and, and a half disc, and then we have a two inch glow in the dark disc. So the inch and a half disc is the one he's talking about. And it, okay. those those go off as big as the other guy's pounder. Really? Yeah. And it's it, only a few and ounces. It's because, yeah, and it's because we're n- every other binary explosive target company is just, they're just doing the same thing yeah it's two components um you know that that are easily attainable and sure. you put them together right and then boom. two well binary. we've yeah binary exactly yeah. well we have added uh a, we have added we yeah you we, added we have magic. added special special proprietary ingredients um Still fully legal. So I was going to say special <laughs> proprietary still, legal ingredients. Still fully, still fully legal. You added cayenne to it, didn't you? <laughs> cayenne pepper. V, yeah. Being down yeah. there from yeah. the bayou, yeah. you put a little cayenne in yeah, there. Yeah, there's uh, and a little more wine. What does Emerald say? A little bam. 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 Yeah. So it's Emerald. it's yeah. it's it's special. It's special. It's it, special. It's the next. It's the next. It's and the it's next called Spike O Might. Spike O Might. Spike O Might. Cha na na, gonna have a good time. Yeah, so like, oh, th- that actually came about. Uh, that came out of Cole's mouth. We were thinking of what are we gonna call this? What are we gonna call it? And I and I thought, well, let's just call it Spike. It sounds like an explosive, right? <laughs> spike. Let's just call it Spike. <laughs> and then he goes, and then uh, and then I said, well, it's got to have something like, you know, like dynamite, tannerite. And Cole goes, what about Spike Might? <laughs> I was and I go, ass. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, go like, I go, dude, that's perfect. And he goes, no, 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 I was kidding. I'm joking. I said, no, no that's the one. You nailed it. That yeah. is the one. <laughs> Usually whenever I have a joke, everyone's like, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah that's good. a good idea. There you go. It's, that's it's how we named our R2 break. I was sitting there. They're like, what should we name this break? I'm like, well, we've already got the D2, so let's just call it R2. And then they're like, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. The D2. I was like, let's no, 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 that R2. was a joke. R2, D2, a joke. And then it stuck. They did it. That's awesome. joke. Is that how you have them listed on the website? Is you get the oh, I'm pretty sure I put it in order. Yeah, okay, right, yeah. yeah, some people would get it. <laughs> some people. I mean, I, I'm so not consciously a, I'm not they like may a, not think it, but they're like R2D2. That's yeah. how it works. Uh, I'm gonna need both. Yeah, I'm gonna need both, have of both. both. Yeah. to make one nice. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. So um, the Spico Mike. This is the, your new line of binary or with the little secret sauce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's binary. No, it's it's, it's, it's binary still a binary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considered binary. Yeah. So how can what, what do you see? You see these little discs. You got glow in the dark. Talk about the different varieties that you've got. So we're gonna sizes. have we're we're gonna eventually expand it, the line and have obviously more options. But to start off with, we're gonna do a five pack of one pounders. Uh, you can get a fifteen pack of one and a half inch discs, or there's an eight an eight pack of two inch discs that are glow in the dark. Cool. And all of those are gonna retail for twenty nine ninety five. Has anybody done glow in the dark yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Not that I've, I've seen. I've never seen one if they do. So. Yeah, I can't recall anybody having no. one. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And we got some other stuff coming. Like I said, we'll end up doing um, larger packages. We'll do maybe instead of just five one-pounders, we'll do ten half-pounders. We'll have a whole variety. Sure. But this is the starting lineup. And is this out and available now? It will be on our website when I get to the shop Monday. Okay. So by the time you guys hear this, it should be up and available on Spike's website. So you go to mm-hmm. spikestactical.com? Yes, sir. Spikestactical.com. And uh, check out their new Spike Might. Right. <laughs> and all the other stuff that we've got coming. Well, and we're going to talk about some more. Stuff. That's yeah. not the only thing, but wait, yeah. there's more. Yeah, there is more. There's we have more. been developing. Yes. So yeah. uh, where do we Where do we want to? You want to go to the round? Do you want to go to we can go your 6.5? Sure. You want to go to your one you want. Yep. You're too, too, yeah. Let's go, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the, to the big boy. Let's okay. do the big boy. All right. Let's start with the big boy. All right. So 
We it, have been it's insane. It is insane. <laughs> we have been inspired by um, people like J.D. Jones, who originally created the 300 Whisper. Um, one of our one of our coworkers does a lot of hunting and plays with uh, break open guns. You know, 510 Whisper, 770 grain bullet. Uh, goes and drops a 700 pound bear where it stands right so we've been inspired by that we uh we did a run of lever guns that everyone i show it to they're like i want one because it's a lever gun that's a 4570 whisper has a big 460 grain bullet i did not know y'all were doing lever guns well we only did 10 of them and it was mostly oh, for fr- we didn't ever sell it publicly it was for friends and, and people that we know okay um so anyway we that's the kind of stuff we like to play with when we're not building a standard AR-15 that's, you know, high end. Doing and, what you do well. Yeah, yeah, that's what we yeah. do, but that's what we do on the side for fun. So we decided to try to make something that was a large caliber like that in semi-auto. So um, with our Roadhouse platform, the billet Gen 2 set, you can, uh, that gives us our foundation. Right. And then basically from there, we just started looking for ways to have a caliber that will use magazines that are already available. Um, all the parts that are already available except the barrel. And we ended up with what we're calling a 416 spike. 416? It, there's your spike. Mm-hmm. Another, there's his spike. He got <laughs> mm-hmm. a spike, yeah. So it's um, it's a 308 shell that's cut down, basically. And then we have a 416 bullet, uh, 440 grain or 420 grain subsonic. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're moving about 1050. It's uh, pretty quiet, and it's a heavy hitter. At 450 grains, it's moving that quick. Huh? 440 grain, yeah. 440 grain, yeah. yeah. Holy crap. And semi-auto. I mean, we we were talking like, man, because when you hit steel with it, you can really hear the thump. So we were like, man, we should just make one of these full auto and see what that, right? see what, you know, <laughs> see what like 5,000, you know, grains of uh, lead is like coming <laughs> What it at does, you yeah. Rah, what know. it could do to a building. Yeah. So Did yeah, you do the, it? Did not you? yet. We'll okay, do so the full auto. The we actually yeah. have our first prototype here. And um, I let a couple of the different guys play with it, and everyone seems to like it. So, dude, you could cut a car in half with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a big piece of metal. I'm sure, yeah, I don't know. You know, they, as long as you're not talking, I'm not talking block. about like a Humvee or yeah, yeah. But, I mean, no yeah. engine block, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, just like from from the door, the front, the front to the back. You could just oh, yeah. like you could just. Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about uh, follow shots with any well placed shot with this thing. It's a it's a beast. Yeah, it's a it's definitely a destroyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we've things. got uh, we've also got uh, our roadhouse uh, in six five Creedmoor now. The road the roadhouse okay yep. that your three hundred eight originally yep. so yep. you yep. got that in yeah I shot the it, it's a beautiful shooter yeah. I got to take it up to the the tower yeah it's like um, it shoots like a bolt gun the the new the new guy the helicopter pilot what's Bob oh Bob Bob helicopter Bob helicopter yep. Bob is that what you yeah. call it? okay yeah, yeah. yeah he took me up there and uh, we got to shoot it long range got to take it out to eight hundred. Bob's yeah. a wealth of knowledge, and we really enjoy having him on the team. He's a, I'll bet, yeah, yeah. He's a good asset for us. He's awesome. Yeah. He's a former... He um, just got out of the um, Army. Army at, yeah. He was an Apache pilot. Apache pilot. That's what it was. Years, so. yeah. Yeah. CW5. Yeah. Very so cool. He's been, he's been a great addition to the team. And, um, yeah, I mean, our, our team is really strong right now. We've been really happy with all the new products. We actually have some other calibers we're working on. Um, one of them we're not going to reveal at all because we're we're waiting to um, show that to the right people first. But when you do, you gotta promise me that you're going to do the exclusive release here and let me na- make me let me make the announcement. We can All do the talking because we, li- can do we are the show for exclusives. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can do an announcement mm-hmm. with you guys. Cool. cool. Now there will be some people who uh, might see it before you, but well, I understand. As far as the public, media, as far as yeah. getting out to the public, yeah. yeah, yeah, we can do that. That's cool. Yeah, and so, that's going to be so the ones that's going to be about. our our. Just like the 416, that's going to be our own caliber. It's it's a caliber that we invented, but we're not going to pull an Alexander Arms and like hold the patent back from people so that nobody wants let to buy do it. it. Yeah, so yeah. we'll we'll release the patent so everybody. And you're going to have a platform to shoot it from too, Absolutely. right? Yeah. Instead of having this, a weird this bullet new with platform, yeah. Right. yeah, that nobody could shoot yet. Right. It's out for you know six months. And, and the yeah. and the rounds that we're developing, <laughs> we've we've been working with um, J D Jones, who you know. Like I said, invented 300 Whisper. Obviously, the 300 Blockout's uh, a 300 Whisper renamed. Mm-hmm. So we'll give credit where credit's due. J.D. Jones has been like a pioneer in the industry for 50 years. And um, yeah, I was going to say, that round was developed a long time oh, he's, ago. He's, mm-hmm. he's, he's old school, man. Yeah, he's awesome, and he's a joy to talk to. If you ever talk to that guy, just just don't talk and Is listen. he with you guys? Uh, he's no, he's his own deal. Independent, uh, yeah. And JD Jones is his own guy. Um, yeah, I'd love to have him on the show. His, he's SSK We'll get him Industries. and Andrew to talk. Andrew's a wealth of knowledge too. He knows. He knows a whole yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. Then you you probably know who JD is. Then yeah. He's yeah. if he's talking, just yeah. listen. Yeah. So get up on the mic. You got to turn it on. It's off. 
<laughs> That's fine. Let me, let me help you out. Let me help you out there. So you got the six five Creedmoor. Mm -hmm. um, talk about that rifle, that platform. Um, basically, we're using a Krieger blank, and um, we've got a really accurate gun. We've we've gotten groups down to a quarter inch and up to a half inch, and we're going to offer probably a twenty two inch barrel or a twenty inch barrel, and um, same tight tolerances like the Roadhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have to heat up the the tenon to get the barrel in. Right. So you don't have to sit there and use some kind of weird epoxy or something to get really tight tolerances on our on our set. And between the tight tolerances, the high quality barrel that we're using. And the craftsmanship in the shop, we've uh, gotten really good results with it. Yeah, so so our listeners are familiar with uh, Nordic components in their mm -hmm. rifles. Uh, and I've talked about them before. And this is the only other rifle, rifle that I've ever seen that had those tight tolerances, uh, if not tighter than – I mean, it's just a perfect fit. Everything fits. There's no wiggle. There's no movement on there. Uh, any of your rifles that that you showed me that you had out here yeah today. i mean a mil spec rifle will have the some roadhouse movement. yeah all the yeah, billet 300, stuff. The 300 blackout compressor Creedmoor. yeah yeah the 300 blackout yeah. compressor the cryptech um cryptech gun it's the cryptech gun, gun. Yeah. That, it, yeah we did a collaboration so bob helicopter bob will call him bob did a uh <laughs> when he he was uh, stationed in iraq with the guys who own cryptech so they have that bond, and, and um, when they reached out, Bob reached out to him and said, hey, let's do a collaboration. They're like, sure, cool, let's do it. So we ended up doing a collaboration with them. It's got their logo on it. It's got their Cryptek word on the upper receiver. Um, it's Cryptek paint, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then we're only doing 300 of them. So, mm -hmm. And these are pistols. Well, there's actually – Or they could be SBRs, there's three guess, very right? there's a There's a pistol, there's a standard 16-inch rifle, and there's an 18-inch SPR. Okay, so you're so, doing all the sizes. Yep, and nice. we have five different colors they can pick from. It's uh, Neptune, Typhon, Highlander, uh, Raid, and – Arid? I don't, I don't know. Oh, the other one's a green one. It's a new – Okay. Mandrake or no, no, I mean, I don't, I don't Mandrake, know. The last, I don't know. It's green. It's, <laughs> it's, it's green. on our website. Yeah. It's green. It's, it's green awesome. Color. So you're not um, doing the white. You're not doing the Arctic. We we did a sample Yeti pistol, and Yeti. it just they just look so they get dirty really quick, and I just don't think most people. Are, I mean, I think they're cool for the, some guy, and if someone called us and said, "Hey, this would guy. you do would you do one for us?" I'd say, yeah, sure. As long you know, if we haven't sold the 300 and one of them's not painted yet, yeah, we'll do one for you. The Yeti with the with the talking lead green on there. There you go. Would be, oh, that'd be, and then in the, in the in the collaboration as well is loophole loophole yep. yeah loophole optics so they um oh okay yeah that's right yeah, yeah. so there's a loophole optic that they they went ahead and branded for us with cryptex logo and spikes logo um and again there's gonna be 300 of them you can buy them with or without the optic so some but this has got all the high-end everything parts yeah, on everything's it it's got the yeah. barking spider yes sir um it's got uh, i think i saw one that had uh maximum defenses uh the pistol, the pistol uses has a maximum, maximum brace. brace yeah the brace on it yeah which is awesome i love their products um and then the trigger was there was there certain trigger and that trigger and that gun we're using cmc triggers the cmc triggers yeah yeah so very high-end nice rifle that you guys are, and they're limited editions right yep There's they only, are only, only 300 s only 300 and they'll be in each color nope, or no nope, nope, 300 total. total between the three variations and five colors so okay. if you yeah. get a blue rifle or you may, you may be one of you know how, however many that, yeah you know. and we're and and just like all of the other rifles that we make we don't make them until you order them so it's not like you've got to pick between what's left of the 300 you okay. know and and, and choose a color that's left over if 300 people wanted the typhon that's there would what be 300 be. typhons okay we, cool. don't, we don't manufacture it until you order it's not like oh sorry we're out of the blue yeah. no no we'll heat lamps no nothing heat sits lamps. under heat lamps <laughs> we make it when you order it no throwing it out at the end of the day yeah huh? yeah that's cool that's very cool yeah so the, that's our new stuff um that's a lot it. man it is a lot yeah and it's, that's that's a variety of things too yeah. I mean, we're doing the spike oh my oh we've ammo. also got uh we've also got uh our nine millimeter recluse. carbine well we've got the recluse mm -hmm. um but uh there's a there's a lot of people that that uh pistol caliber carbine um class mm -hmm. uspsa pcc yeah is, is getting super popular um so uh, right now, <clears throat> we've been making the recluse and it's been a hit, but you can't shoot it in those in those competitions because it's way too quiet. So it doesn't actually it doesn't uh, trigger the, for the, the shooter, the timer. Yeah, the timer, yeah. So okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, you'll be able to get um, um, various lengths of uh, nine millimeter. And that's an well. integrally suppressed. The recluse is yes nine, right? Yeah. yeah so it's a single stamp gun. One stamp because it is actually a full length gun with the suppressor. 
and since it's integrally suppressed, that's that counts in the full right. length of the gun. So it's it's one stamp. So you're going to do a different version of that? Is that what, is that well, what you're saying? Well, we're going to do... Just um, non-suppressed. non-suppressed. Just non-suppressed. Okay. We'll have a five and a half inch version. And then um, they can just put their own can on it. They can want put their to. own yep. can if they want. We'll have an 8.7 inch version and we'll have a 16 inch version. So if someone nice. doesn't want a pistol and they don't want an SBR, they just want a full rifle, we'll do that too. And is it just 300 blackout that it's coming in? We're talking... Oh, no, this is 9 mil. The, oh, you're going to do a PCC. Uh, okay. Yep. I was back to the... The, the compressor, yeah, the well, compressor. The that's yeah, what it yeah, was. Yeah, the compressor is starting to black out, but we have that in five five six as well. The, yeah. the recluse is a nine. Millimeter. What about the mags? What, ma- what mags are you using on that one? We do um, two two lowers. One of them uses a Colt stick mag. Um, the other one is a Glock mag. Okay, very so. good. Pretty pretty standard. Yeah, what no, everybody wants. Yeah, no, we. We try to keep uh, for things like that. We try to keep away from the proprietary, proprietary yeah. action, so that you can use the stuff that's, that you have. You that's can what use people the stuff hate that's available. Is, you got a proprietary magazine, like shit. Another another, another magazine. variety of magazine yeah. I got to carry. A lot of people want the um, Glock mags because they think, oh, I can use my pistol and my rifle and have the same mag in both, and that's great. And then there's also the the group that says, ah, I want something that has solid metal feed lips on the on the magazine. So. Our boss is an old school dude. He wanted a Colt mag. I said, well, there's going to be a lot of guys who want Glock. He's like, let's do both. So I do both. Let's yeah. do both. Yeah. Oh, and we've got 45 coming out. We're, we're going to do got a 45, 45 PCC. But that's, nice. You know, mm-hmm. Coming soon. Maybe coming next soon. big three will happen. Okay. Very good. Now, back to the the ammo, the big the big boy, the spike. Um, magazines for that? 308 mags. Just, Just use the regular 308, 308 mags. Yeah, I like recommend P mags. Yeah, yeah, I recommend yeah. P mags for them. Okay. Um, but yeah, just regular 308 mags. Um, the only thing you have to do, so this starting off is going to be for uh, reloaders, essentially, mm-hmm. avid hunters, avid shooters, guys who have all the other toys and they, they're looking for something cool and different. Or if you're going to look to mess up something when you go shoot an animal or whatever it is, um, it's going to mess it up. Well, you drop it where it is, not to chase a blood trail, you know. Um, so it's going to start off something for reloaders, essentially. You're going to use a 308 case, neck down. You can use the same 308. Um, not neck down. Well, cut not down. neck down, sorry. Yeah. Cut down, straight cut down. wall. Yeah, straight wall. Um, and you're use the same same reamers and everything you would use for a normal 308, and then it's just a 416. Yeah. Um, so there are okay. there are states still where you you're not allowed to hunt with a neck down round, and so it's gotta be straight wall. Boom, straight wall. Backwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you guys gonna offer any of that on your website for sale, or is this strictly gonna be for the the um, reloaders right now? I don't know if we'll. Um, hopefully the as people pick it up and we'll we'll make so we can make some and send it to different reviewers and different people who are interested um hopefully you know an ammo company will pick it up we'll, we'll be in talks with a couple of different ammo companies to get someone to make it commercially yeah um starting off initially because we're you know kind of hitting the market with it before we do the whole ammo thing because we're all excited about it um starting off initially it'd be more for reloaders yeah. it's an easy reload for we don't want to hold it back but you know we will be in talks with the ammo guys to make it too okay cool because, uh, yeah, they're going to want it. Of course. So yeah. you got to make it available, readily available. Well, the calibers that aren't, you know, if you don't have a Sammy spec and you don't have multiple people, multiple sources making mm-hmm. it, those calibers usually die. Unless yeah. you're a reloader and you buy the gun and you want to keep reloading it, then that's it's you can have it as long as you want because it's, sure. common, it's common components. It's a 308 case. Like said, it's, yeah. it's a bullet's available. So if if you're not going to have the, someone else manufacturing it, the caliber won't last long in the, in the market. Got gotcha. you. So what else? I mean, that's a lot. You guys got anything else we didn't talk about? We've got we've got another something that we're not allowed <laughs> to talk something? about yet. <laughs> okay. But, and that's the More something teasers. that's the something that's gonna uh, uh, it's gonna change everything. Okay, game changer. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm not a fan of that word, but can I? <laughs> can I? Can I guess? Can I? Will you give me a nod if I'm right or? Sure. Give, give, it, yeah, give it a try. <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> are, you, are you getting into vehicles now? Is that a, no, <laughs> no. Well, you no. would think so, the way that Spike, right? Spike does vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> I was just kidding there. But, no, that's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for coming on and getting us uh, caught up on what's going on with Spikes. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. We appreciate you guys it. guys are always doing good stuff, and you're always standing up for our Second Amendment rights. Uh, prime example of what we talked about earlier. Mm-hmm. You can get those posters at spikes.com. You can. As well. Spikestactical.com. Are you, do you, what are you calling those posters? Not today, not today. Antifa. Yeah, not today, Antifa. Okay. No. Yeah. Did you Did you see that? You weren't here when he showed that. No, nah, but I've already seen them. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was he like, was, he was, was Everybody list. else saw, except for he you. He was part of that 92 million. Yeah. 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 I'm that one that didn't. 
you were, probably, you were probably editing a show or something. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was it, that one went over. I think this uh, YouTube thing is going to hit a lot of people too because it's yep. been all over the news. Yeah. Um, and and again, you know, obviously we're we want to make a stand for our company, but more so for everyone who supports the Second Amendment. And honestly, if it's not Second Amendment, if you're supporting any point of view that you don't think should be silenced by the opposition, right. you know, it, if you don't speak up now, if you believe in freedom of speech. No. Yeah. yeah, and so there'll be an argument that hey, they they own their business, the private business. Well, that didn't apply for the the baker in Oregon, and that doesn't always apply That's in this right. country. And it seems like the rules are different for different politics. Right. So if if we don't say something and risk ourselves being, uh, you know, more blacklisted by them, well, you know, they're going to just trample all over us. Right. And this this they're going to blacklist you no matter what. So you yeah. might as well speak your mind. This yeah. stretches beyond the Second Amendment as well. I mean, everybody assume would assume that we're that we would stand up, that we would fight for that Second Amendment, but we've our First Amendment rights have been attacked. Right. You know, our First Amendment rights regarding our Second Amendment rights mm -hmm. have been attacked. So they're it, squelching it, our voice. Yeah. It, exactly. Exactly. And they're so doing it. They're, they're attacking us through social media right now. Yeah, and if you look at all the platforms they run, I mean, that's that's today's modern communication lines. Back in the day, they would have said, "Hey, Bell South, you can't." It's a monopoly. You, yeah. you can't. It's illegal. You can't not give phone lines to your opposition party i mean that's you can't do that it's not yeah. how it works so to, this is today there'll be an argument i'm sure you know at some point but that's the two different points of view it's either it's a public utility or it's a private business okay well if it's a private business then why did the baker get sued and if it's a public utility then you can't then you can't have us. a monopoly mm -hmm. yeah. and they can't have it both ways you know all right but they want it they want it both ways yeah of course they yeah. want their cake and you know, they've, they've, they do it, yeah. they've been the they've been <laughs> they've been getting it both ways they've been taking it both ways and, and that's why that's why we've decided to stand firm well i like that and we're behind you so leadheads uh, make sure you go to their social media and uh, let them know to keep up the good work and get behind spikes right on thank you go buy a rifle <laughs> that too yeah yeah all right we'll be back with more from the 2018 big three east here in daytona beach the land wherever <laughs> the, power lines. the crack <laughs> the crack <laughs> all right guys we're back jeremy and i and uh, I'm still, I mean, even after that, that interview there that we did with, uh, with Kit Cope and uh, the guys there at Spikes and Inland Manufacturing, I'm still, my head is still spinning uh, from these deals that Jeremy just hit you guys with. Go to defywatches.com right now. Uh, you get the Scout, the Battlefield, 45% off. Use the code LEADHEAD. LEADHEAD. Use code LEADHEAD. Uh, and the classic field watch there's no code for it. He just went ahead and marked it down, and it's a it's a race for you guys while supplies last. You get that two hundred dollar classic field watch for eighty nine bucks. Do it now. Yeah, it it just comes you know wrapped in bubble wrap. It ain't coming in all sweet and all. It's just coming as the watch as you order it. Yeah, there you go. No no special packaging. Uh, no, nope. but you're gonna get the watch, and that's all you care about. You're gonna get an awesome watch. And then uh, Smith Bradley Ltd dot com. The Sands Thirt. 2.0 you're gonna get um tell them the deal you're getting on that two hundred dollars off two hundred only to leadheads two hundred dollars off you got to use the code leadhead to get that uh and that and these deals are only going to run until september 14th so you got till september right. 14th to get these in so if you know if you got a buddy that you know that listens to the podcast and they're you know a week behind Tell them to skip forward to listen to this because <laughs> they're they're going to want to do it. Definitely. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on everything we got going here. We got Christmas coming up. We got all the holidays coming up. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Lots of stuff. I mean, if you want to get stuff that's going to make one heck of an impression, there you go. Birthdays, graduations, uh, anniversaries. I mean, these are watches are appropriate for any kind of any kind of holiday gift. So, again, a big thanks to all the sponsors of Talking Lead, Right On Optics, check them out, RightOnUSA.com, X-Steel Targets, you guys check out X-Steel Targets, Bud and the gang over there, they've got some new services that they're going to be offering, some new products outside of their AR500 Steel Targets, so you guys stay tuned for that, we're going to get them on, they're going to talk about some awesome stuff that they're going to be bringing to you Leadheads, XSteelTargets.com, Modern Spartan Systems, don't just clean your firearms. 
optimize them with Modern Spartan Systems. ModernSpartanSystems.com, 1776 United, all your talking lead swag, 1776United.com. Uh, and then uh, your your black assault mugs, talking lead, uh, black assault mugs, evil black tumblers. Dip123.com forward slash talking lead. Get those. VanQuest. Uh, you guys, if you want some, what do they call it when you got something that's discreet? I guess you call it discreet, right? <laughs> if you want, if you want some yeah. carry options and you don't stick out like somebody who's carrying a gun in your bag, go check out VanQuest. Uh, they've got you know urban style uh, bags and pouches, backpacks, gear that blends in, so you don't stick out like a sore thumb. You know they have all the the um, camoed up kind of stuff, patchied out. Now they've got some of that available, but uh, I've got a truck gun uh, that I carry in one of their um, one of their bags, and you wouldn't know what you think it was just a you know a gym bag or something like that. Uh, just blends in perfectly. VanQuest.com. Check them out. Jeremy, again, thank you so much for being on and taking care of the Leadhead Brigade. You know that they appreciate it as well. You guys got till the 14th, September 14th, to get these great deals. Jump on it. Yeah. Use it or lose it. And then we're going to have Jeremy on soon. He's going to be back to, uh, to drop the hammer again on some awesome stuff that they're doing company wise product wise that's gonna that's really gonna excite you guys so when like i said when nda drops on that we'll have jeremy back on to talk about it can we, oh, give, yeah. him a, can we give him a hint or a tease or anything maybe that wouldn't give it away hmm. let's just say hollywood okay there you go that's perfect <laughs> i like that No, that's enough of a tease. That, that is, yeah, I think that, that's a pretty good tease right there. Uh, I'm in Poland as you guys are listening to this, so uh, I'll be back. Uh, we're not, like I said, we're not going to have another, we're not going to have an episode next week. So it's a perfect opportunity for you guys to go back and get caught up on your past episodes. Go and support our sponsors, those who support our show, our friends of the show, our organizations, our nonprofits that we support, Sheepdog Impact Assistance. Check them out, sheepdogia.org. Mission 22s, mission22.com, uh, and then FLEOA, Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. You guys, make sure you go uh, check them out. They've got some great auctions that they're doing right now uh, to raise some money, some raffles. There's some kind of tricked out Jeep or something that's just wicked cool. You guys can go and get uh, tickets for that. Um, on their website, so just go check them out at uh, Fleo's website. Jeremy, that brings us to the end of another awesome podcast. Uh, thanks to you for, for bringing the excitement and the Fire Watches and Smith and Bradley. Absolutely. As always, lead heads, keep your loved ones close and your watches closer. I'll see you when I get back from Poland, lead heads. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir.